So I'll be showing you how to use the new iOS 17 feature called check-ins. Now check-ins is basically a feature inside messages that allows you to share your progress as you're heading towards a certain destination with someone. So let's say for instance, you want to share with this person. So just go to messages, choose the person, open their thread conversation, and then tap on the plus symbol on the left hand side the menu that pops up, just tap on more to see more options and you should see check in. Now, if it's the first time, obviously you're going to have to go through this process and it says, let your friend know you've arrived with check in. Your friend will be notified automatically when you get to your destination. Okay, so just tap on continue. iPhone will keep up with your progress. If you aren't making progress towards your destination, you will be prompt prompted and have 15 minutes to respond. So just tap on continue, choose the data you'd like to share. If you don't arrive, you can have limited data or full access data. So limited data, as it says here, includes current location and de details about your battery and network signal for iPhone and Apple Watch. Full includes all limited data, which is all this data, plus route traveled and location of last iPhone unlock and Apple Watch removal, okay? So you might want to give full access and then just tap on continue. Your friend is notified when you send the check-in, they'll get a notification. When you arrive, they'll be notified. If you are delayed and do not respond, like it says here, if you are delayed or if iPhone makes an emergency SOS call, you will be prompted. If you do not respond within 15 minutes of being prompted, they will be notified. So basically the person you're sharing the check-in with is going to be notified after 15 minutes of a prompt if you don't respond. So let's go ahead and send the check-in. So that's the check-in, that's what it looks like. Uh, now the problem with this contact is my other phone, the one I'm sending to, has iOS 16. So this only works if both of you have iOS 17. All right, so that's basically how to use that feature. Maybe I'll make a more in-depth video later when it's uh, full, when the full update is out for everyone. But that's basically what check-ins is all about in iOS 17. Thanks for watching and good luck.